Virgin Island in Bantayan. A 30-minute boat ride from Bantayan Island, Virgin Island is one of the main attractions in Bantayan Island that has untouched white beach and crystal clear waters where snorkeling can be enjoyed. Though more expensive than usual and may not be ideal for budget-cautious travelers, Virgin Island is private and maintained in good conditions. It is very perfect for tourists who really have the heart for beaches and those who want to just chill and relax. The island also has cottages that you can just rent. The price would depend on the type of cottage you would like to rent. There are hammocks which are free and there is a local restaurant bar so you can have a meal or a drink. How to get there? Exact location, Virgin Island Santa Fe Bantayan. 4 to 5 hours away from the city and if you want to go to Virgin Island, you have to go to Bantayan Island first. Buses that will bring you to Bantayan Island are found at the North Bus Terminal. Take the bus going to Hagnaya and after reaching Bantayan, you can charter a boat headed for Virgin Island. While you can reach Virgin Island from any part of Bantayan, the best jump off point is in Santa Fe. It is also advisable to visit island with group of friends to reduce the cost of hiring boat. Santa Fe Beach in Bantayan Island The Cebu Philippines is made up of 1,107 big and small islands. There is no question why the country is regarded to be a heaven of the most breathtaking beaches and alluring marine ecosystem. Here are some of the fun things that you can do in the island. Enjoy the white sand beaches. This shore will not be out of your list. The island is full of majestic beaches and aside from the main island Bantayan, there are numerous small islets surrounding the island that are worth your visit. How to get there? From Mactan Cebu International Airport, ride a taxi going to the Cebu North Bus Terminal. Fare for the taxi will be around 150 to 200 pesos and will take around 30 minutes or more depending on the traffic situation. And here's a tip! Better travel during non-peak hours. The best time to travel is early morning because you can also catch early bus ride going to Hagnaya. From Hagnaya, ride a ferry boat going to Santa Fe, Bantayan Island. The boat ride will take around 75 minutes and the fare is approximately 170 pesos. That is why traveling early is best because the ferry boat is going to Bantayan Island has a daily schedule. The boat schedule starts from 5.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. only. Going to Bantayan Island is a must included in your bucket list. Experience an adventure that no other island can give. And if you're planning to visit Bantayan, you can book now to one of the island tour packages. Kalangaman Island in Leyte The island of Kalangaman is famous for its crystal clear water, white powdery sand, and long sandbars stretching both sides of the island. The surrounding of the beach is really calm, safe, and truly relaxing. That is why it's suitable for family holidays or for a short week trip. Where is Kalangaman Island? Kalangaman Island is a beautiful beach destination located in municipality of Palompon. In 2013, the island started to gain international exposure after MB Europa Cruise Line stopped over on the island and brought almost 400 passengers who stayed on the island for a couple of hours. The best time to visit on the island is during the summer season, from February to May, but you can still visit the island from October to June. Avoid the rainy and typhoon season, which is from the month of July to September. If you hate a crowded beach, avoid visiting the island during summer, national holidays, holy weeks, and long weekends. Pescador Island in Mualboal when we say there's a lot to explore around the Cebu province, we seriously mean a lot. Even most Cebu residents have not roamed around this province yet, but that's what makes it even more exciting. We always have something to look forward to every time we are free for a getaway with our family and friends without need to fly out from the city.
And there's this one place in Cebu where you can make the most out of your one day trip. One of the most popular tour packages offered in Cebu is Mualbu'al Getaway in Southern Cebu in which the itinerary includes the Pescador Island. If you're looking for a getaway that will kick off or complete your summer, this is for you! How to get there? Just ride a bus from Badian bound for Mualbu'al and the travel time is approximately 30 to 40 minutes. The bus fare is around 40 pesos. You can also hire a motorcycle that can bring you directly to Mualbu'al Cebu. Lugon Beach in Malapascua Malapascua is one of the best dive destinations in Cebu province. Guests from all over the country and the world come to enjoy diving, the white beach and other water activities. Of course, you can either rent or hire motorbikes, bicycles, boats, skis or any to enjoy a more active activity. Malapascua is also one of the best places to spend your dream summer escapade. Once you step on its shore, you'll forget about how long you've traveled. Distance from Cebu City, 80 kilometers going north. Travel time from Cebu City, 3 hours. How to get there? Take a bus bound for Maya Bus Terminal, then ride a boat in Maya Port going to Malapascua. Transportation cost 250 to 300 pesos one way. Lambu Beach in Badian. If you are looking for a place for your weekend or summer getaway, check out Lambu Beach, one of the best tourist spots in south of Cebu. The beautiful Lambu Beach is located in town of Badian, home to the ever famous Kawasan Falls, which also claim jurisdiction over another famous tourist attraction in Cebu. Distance from Cebu City, 100 kilometers going southwest. Travel time from Cebu City, 3 hours. Fees, 500 pesos cottage, 50 to 150 pesos tent. And how to get there? Take a bus bound for Badian in South Bus Terminal. Ask the conductor to drop you off in Lambo Beach. Then you will need to ride a tricycle or habal habal to reach the beach. Transportation cost, 140 per head or 30 pesos head tricycle. Maravilla Beach in Tabuelan Tabuelan is one of the swimming towns of Cebu. It has long been quiet, but just recently, this town has started to spread its name around the island of Cebu for owning a white sand beach. This white sand beach that I'm talking about is the beautiful Maravilla Beach. It is likely the most promising tourist destinations in the northwestern part of Cebu. It owns a long stretch of white sand beach and a turquoise water that will surely entice you to drench yourself. Maravilla Beach can be a perfect place to distress and experience fun without having to worry about spending too much. You can actually opt to just sit back and relax while you're gazing into the stunning sunset when the sun rests below the horizon. From the north bus of Terminal, ride any bus or vihire bound for Tabuelan. Travel time is approximately 3 hours and the fare is around 100 pesos to 100 pesos per person. Drop off at Tabuelan Public Market where you can buy ahead of your food. From the public market, ride a motorbike or habal habal going to Maravilla Beach, Barangay Hall. Motorcycle fare is around 40 to 50 pesos per person. And once you arrive at Barangay Hall, you scarcely have to walk to the beach for about a minute or two. Tinko Beach in Alcoy The south of Cebu is most recognizable for its diving sites, although some beaches offer shores more suited for lazing around and rather than serving as a jumping off point for divers. Arguabali, one of the best white sand beaches in southern Cebu, Tinko Beach in Alcoy, stretches along a lagoon for more than a while, serving as a weekend getaway destination for the locals and foreign visitors alike. Bastako Beach in Mualbu'al Bastako is its popular name and considered 
one of the best beaches in Cebu. The name Basdako is the Cebuano language, transliteration for the word Big Sand. I think it is somehow a poetic name coined to describe this long stretch of amazing white beach. Actually, it is the whole province of Cebu that has white sand beaches since the whole island, including its more than 100 satellite islands itself, is made up of coralline deposits. In other words, the province is made up of corals that has been elevated to its present level where plants and animals, including us, can survive after millions of years of its ongoing creation. Bastaco is not only a white beach sand, but of course, it has crystal clear and pristine sea water. The beach is very much available to the public beach and great for most activities allowed by the management that watch over and maintain its natural environment. Hidden Beach in Aluginsan The Hidden Beach Resort is one of the most natural beaches in Cebu province. Being hidden means that it's untouched by resort development projects and all that sort of money-making expensive resorts. Being so natural, you can find lots of marine animals around crabs, hermit crabs, shells, starfish, even sea urchins. The sand is whitish and natural. By natural, it means it's not transported from over white beach or anything like that. Since the beach is hidden, you have to find it by passing through some thickest of trees and coconut palms. You'll realize that you are getting closer when you see the color rocks, the cover sea in a distance. As you catch a glimpse of the beach, you'll be amazed to see clean beach water and shoreline hermed of coconut trees. Thank you for watching mga kalangga! I hope you enjoy! And if you did, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the bell button para magiging updated sa aming mga videos. Happy 1,000 subscribers to us! God bless us all and keep safe. Always remember, be blessed!